cut the head off, man. You gotta go check out the little homie he did there, man. He got a tournament today, man. Let's get it, man. It's gonna be fun. Let's get it. Out of space. I'm an alien. Empty alien. Straight out of space. Can't you do a vape? Oh, I can't even get paid. I ain't come for the play. But I lay with a bird and a birthday suit. Only came for the cake. I ain't come for the face, but I came on it. Hey, watch your mouth, boy. I say what I say, but you all rap. I was super excited to see my little Brody Dejan. I mean, I hadn't seen him in a few years, but we always connected via Facebook, Instagram, and all those other social medias. I guess what I really wanted to see was what kind of player had he become. I knew he was a good kid, but I was interested in seeing with my own eyes how he was doing on a new team and a new city. So we go, yeah, so we go in the South South Carrollton High School for the OBL East Championships. Uh, my little brody just gave me the, just told me to reach out and come support. Actually, he didn't even tell me anything. I just decided, yo, it was about time that we head out there and we go check it out, so. Calling him on the phone right now. Hey. Yo, you, you you alive? You good? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah? Where you at? Uh, you get on finish? Yeah. Right, I'm good. Alright. Alright. Yeah. You could tell I was excited for this trip. I don't trust a lot of people, oh, yeah. but, but once yeah, you're in what, my what circle, there's not really that much I wouldn't do for you. I'll go the distance for sure. Funny thing is, I'm waiting on him now. So, someone's not being truthful. That one of your gang says. Wait, it's a Raptors team? Obviously, it's the first DA of the playoffs. Hold on, man. I gotta run my Raptors game. Hmm? We're out here waiting for you, man. Good on, man. This morning? <laughs> Wait, I gotta wear my Raptors gear? Not fucking me up, man. What do you mean? Should I wear my Raptors gear? I don't care. Yeah, because you're a LeBron. But the game's at. The game's at. Nine. Games are five thirty. I'm talking about. Oh, nine in the morning. Yes. Oh shit. So if you try to do something, do it now. Hey, should I go get it? It's the first day of the playoffs. Yeah, I got no choice. I'm sorry. Hold on. Give me, give me two minutes. So now we have. I'm sorry. So twelve minutes plus an extra. You know, back then, I won't lie, I probably would have gotten angry at him for going back upstairs. You know, I would have seen it as him delaying the whole trip, making us late. Everybody's here waiting for him. So he got geared up. I used to make a big deal out of anything. <laughs> but at the same time, these two, man, they're huge, huge Raptors fans. And I respect that. I never killed anybody, but I got something to do with that body. But I don't know. But I see things differently now. I try to make a positive out of everything. And right now, we are about to hit the road and go support one of our own. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Sing one up. This game allows you to form so many different relationships with so many people. It's incredible. You know, at the end of the day, who cares how many points you score or how many games you won or how many trophies or medals you have? What you'll remember 10, 20, or 30 years down the line is the people you actually shared those moments with. And I think that's what makes basketball such an amazing platform to inspire so many different kids. What the hell is that moment? So when I say pack strong, I want you guys to envision a group of people who have unity, respect, love amongst each other, and who have the same sense of commitment when it comes to supporting one another. What's crazy is that I never knew that this same sense of family and unity would one day take me to Ottawa on a Saturday morning to watch a couple of basketball games. You heard the Wow, you heard it all? Yeah. If you're anything like me, you probably hate car rides, and right now you're probably getting a little impatient. It is so easy to let the negatives overpower the positives. We're all guilty of it. But in situations like these, when the circumstances are probably not the way we would like them, we have to make this conscious decision to ask ourselves. What's something positive that I could take out of this? And it was at this moment that we decided maybe sharing a story might not be such a bad idea. And then Ashley played all of that game, all of that second half. And then remember he was on top of on top of the press. He's like, Coach Sub, I'm like, I'm sorry, you cannot sub. Yeah, he was crying. He's like, I'm too tired. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, you cannot. You have to stay on the court. He's like, okay. He's like, I'm so tired. <laughs> He's like, I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm like, no, you must stay there. We so had then, no choice. That's what we had no choice. It was crazy. So then, oh, we never told you this shit, right? So then, um, here's the end of regulation. It's tie game. And then we set up with Liam. Liam ain't play like all the second half. And we're like, yo, we need defense. I'm like, yo, you gotta put Liam. You know what I'm saying? We don't care about who's, <laughs> we don't care about who's like, who, who's supposed to be on, who's the starter. And we just say, yo, Liam gotta go in. So they're about to, they're about to on the baseline. And we took out, uh, I think we took out like CJ. Then we take out CJ and we put a Noah, put Noah on the ball. Because Jerome was there too. Yeah. So we had, I think we had, no, CJ might have been on the court. We might have had yeah. Asher, Jerome, CJ, Liam, Liam, and Noah. Yeah. I think we subbed out game. Did we sub out game? Anyways. He might have had four fouls. Something like that. I don't know. But we had um, we had Big Noah on the ball. Yeah. They had the ball on the ball. Yeah, exactly. Under our basket. Bro. When like four seconds left. So Under then, our basket. So then they try to inbound the ball. Liam is doing his regular like defensive player of the year stuff. He's looking. For some reason he turns like following a player. Jerome lost his man. Jerome lost his man. He's about to get the ball like the big guy's about to end the game. Yo. Liam kind of sees that with a third move. He turns around and just grabs the ball. He holds it down. <laughs> Over time. They were like, we would have lost the game on the play. It was crazy. There was like two seconds left. It would have been a buzzer on the layup. It would have been a layup. It would have been. It would have won the game like that. Yeah, you see all the parents so like, let's go, yo! I never seen parents so alive. It was crazy. Parents, like, let's go! <laughs> and after that, that's when the game really started. Like, and then the game started. Time. So then we go to overtime. We were, when we down by four in overtime, and then Jerome and made a layup, and it's some crazy stuff that Jerome made. Yeah. So the all in all, it's, it's nine 
nine seconds left. We take a timeout. We're down one. I was going to say that. No, I what? think there was like 14 seconds left. 14 or 11. He it ran. Was, was he ran the clock down. Now hold on. You gotta talk about the timeout. Take the timeout. <laughs> <laughs> First thing that happens. When you just, just like, so who wants to take the shot? <laughs> I said, okay, it's one last shot. Who wants to take it? So who wants to take the last shot? I watched too much movies. Is that what they did? The Mighty Ducks. <laughs> the Mighty Ducks. That's what they did. Because I just, because you know, I knew that. Because that we all knew Ashley was gonna take the shot. We knew Ashley was gonna take the shot. But I felt like I had to trick him into saying into everybody believing that he could make it. You know what I mean? So it's really like a psychological thing. I couldn't be like, okay, Ashley, you take it. Because then that means that yeah. everybody else, if the shot happens, then you can't really take it. Because I said it, he, he takes it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you just say, so who's going to take the last shot? Yeah. And everyone was like, Ashley, Ashley, Ashley. And Ashley puts his hand up. Just yeah. me. Okay. <laughs> so then we set up that play, like um, four people on the, on the opposite sideline. CJ inbound the ball. Ashley goes to get it. He's running on the clock. He's looking up. Some, I've never seen that's some, some NBA shit, bro. That's some NBA type shit, man. It was crazy. He was just running it down. He's waiting. And and that, that we told I, him to go to the rim because we were in bonus. Oh. We said go go to the rim, you're gonna get fouled. Yeah. So he goes. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I think you gotta you gotta, think, you gotta think, show that. I shit. think we gotta show it too. Do you still have that video? And then that happened. So then so we got that play. We told him we told him go to the rim. 49, 48, 11.3 seconds. So he's dribbling. Tell him to go to the, to the lane. As you can see, hey, before I even show you, as you can see, they had a big ass dude right there in the middle. And he said he was about to drive it, but then that dude came in for help. So he's like, uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. So my man hit a mean step back, went to the three, and shot it. We're down one. In the finals game, we're down one. And there was he no takes a, he takes a step back three. That's but here's the thing: this is why people ask us, "Yo, why you let your kids? Why you let your kids shoot threes? Because here's the thing: they gotta have the confidence to shoot threes when it's open. So then, when it comes to a real game situation, it's a regular shot to you. Y'all know how many one on ones we do it like. We do one on ones, but we encourage them to shoot threes when it when it, an open shot. You know what I'm saying? So, look at this. CJ and Miles the ball. They got their best friend on them. They didn't even touch the rim. Go ahead, your, go ahead, your, no, no, no. <laughs> Wet. Wet. Came down was like, Calls no. timeout, and then he just starts balling. Here's the thing. You know why he was crying? Because he was tired. He's a man possessed. He, he didn't have any energy to do all that. There was someone going through his head. He's like, yo, let me just, let me just try. Let me just try to shoot. That was, yo, that, that was crazy. I'm gonna say at that moment, if, if we wouldn't have won, if we would have won that game, I would have been there. I would have been cool with it. Because, like, we, we tried everything we could. It would have sucked getting back into the car. But the kids would have, they did what they had yeah, to do. Yeah, yo, that's, that was crazy. They did what they had to do. This was probably the year that changed everything for me. It's no secret that we've had a lot of success this year. Personally, I had my first winning record ever as a coach. We won one tournament, probably one of the biggest ones that happens during the whole year. There's a saying that I hate, that all my life they always told me. The kids look up to you. I never really knew what that meant. And also, out of everybody, why me? I have failed countless times in my life. <laughs> good job, good but through job. it all, I find a way to smile. And honestly, they just made me become a better person. They allowed me to self-reflect and keep learning. This is gonna sound weird, but the success only started coming when I stopped putting winning as the end goal. It's like it wasn't at the top of my list anymore. At a certain point, it's not even about me. It's about them. 
we personally just let them be themselves and we just put emphasis on them playing hard trusting each other and mostly it's just fun I never really truly understood what it meant to be a coach I never knew how many people actually had my back or how many lives I had the opportunity to change so you're telling me that every day I have the op this opportunity to go out, influence the life of kids, and create memories? How can I not be on board? Number one. I'm gonna have the first one. Number one. Number one. One. Hey, why are you making the hot? I know you. Hey, I'm. I'm. Here. Hey, looking forward to making more memories. But right now, I gotta let you guys go. Dejan, we're coming your way. Also, be on the lookout for episode two coming out real soon. Took a trip on my way. Landed on the other side of city in the bar with my new little fist of fame. Then the goddess walked into the place. You won't want to miss that. You gotta count that. You gotta get